I get the distinct impression that um, we're doing a We Play Baton Rouge today. Is that right? Uh, Bruce Weber, Eyewitness Sports Weekends. You all know Bruce. How about a round of Bruce, I'll tell you what. Uh, I did not know we were doing a show today. Welcome to We Play Baton Rouge. Yeah, this is a game show made in your backyard with people that may have been in your backyard. I'll tell you what. Bruce, listen. Good idea. Hold on to these clubs. Folks, stay right here. I'm going to go change. I'll be right back, okay? Right. Hold on right there. to the Capital City's only game show, We Play Baton Rouge. Join the competition with the highest rated game show in Baton Rouge. Here now is the star of We Play Baton Rouge, Pat Shingleton. Hi, Gary King, thank you very, very much. It's really, really good to be here this afternoon. I got here extra special early just to be with you folks, as you know. It was a nice day to go out and play golf, but I said, no way, we are gonna play We Play Baton Rouge. Now, through the course of our tapings, uh, throughout the rest of the time, we found that there was some screaming going on in the back of the row back there. There it goes again. Wait, let's call in Johnny Yarbrough, our security man. Johnny, why don't you step in here? Johnny heads up a, hey Johnny. John, John, now you head up that 50 man security force that we have here during We Play Baton Rouge. And I was wondering that guy that was apparently chasing that girl, is that him up there on that vine right there? We finally got him. We got him. There he goes. Give him a shot, hey, John. Hey. <laughs> hey, John, I want to tell you, folks, this is John. Believe it or not, this man right here, 63 years old today. you believe that? <laughs> John, I want to tell you happy birthday, and we'll see you at that surprise Thanks. party Thanks. tonight. Good okay? Night. Johnny Yarbrough. Thank you, John. <laughs> folks, this is We Play Baton Rouge, as I mentioned. Now, You'll see right here our game board. In our game board, you'll see three windows. Now, when our contestants get in here, we will rapidly scramble those categories. And when they stop, each contestant has the opportunity of picking one category. For example, it could be products, comics, or words. They pick the category, I pick the question. When they correctly answer it, they'll move across a bunch of streets, just like Jefferson Highway over here. College, Acadian, watch park because Johnny Yarbrough is going to be patrolling park right after the show. That's the way I go home, and I imagine he'll be stopping me. Now, if you should miss a question, you'll hear this sound. And after you hear that, the other contestant has the option of either taking that question or it's back to the game board. Across east, over Highland, to the studios of TV2, declares a winner on that side. Here on this side, you can see Perkins. There's Lee, Stanford, Dalrymple, Texas Street, and of course, over Highland again to the studios of TV2. We start our game with the introduction of contestants, and who does that better? None other than our own Gary King. Gary, who do we have today? We've engineered a good show for tonight. All it's right. Engineers' Night. Our first contestant enjoys imitating Captain Kangaroo, leaving the heat on in his car during those hot summer days, and collecting lug nuts. Collecting lug nuts. Here's the anchovy-eating champion of Baton Rouge from the BF Goodrich Chemical Group, designer engineer Richard Logston. Hey, Richard, how you doing? Hi, <laughs> Richard. We're all right up there. Now, Richard, I understand you have a very big collection of lug nuts at home. How long have you been collecting those lug nuts? Well, that's since I got the first car. It's a piece of junk. Well, I'd say then you probably got about four or five lug nuts. Yeah. <laughs> well, more than that. Okay, <laughs> now, the backyard. as the anchovy eating champion of Baton Rouge, how do you do it? How can you woof down all of those anchovies? Well, he got it wrong. It's not anchovies, really. It's crawfish. Okay. We'll stand corrected because Gary King never knows what he's talking about anyway. But we stand corrected. Now, we have a good contestant for you, Richard. Who do we have? Gary King. 
Richard will have his work cut out for him tonight, Pat. Our uh, next contestant races champion Yaks, enjoys getting <laughs> stuck in sewer pipes and sliding into second base. Another engineer, here's Ken Hey, Ernst. Ken, how you doing? Good to see you. Does it take an awful lot of your time raising those champion Yaks that you have around the house? That's got to be one very tough job. Sure. Are they yakking all the time that yakety you're doing yakety that? Yakety yak. Oh, boy, that is really ridiculous. Good okay. to have you. Now, how about sliding into second base? How often do you practice that? <laughs> it, it just comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I think we got two good contestants here, but who knows when we play Baton Rouge. We'll find out. We're going to toss the coin, then we toss the categories. But right now, that's right, we toss to a commercial break. We will return with round one right after this. Yeah! The engineers will return, so stay tuned for more as we move into round one of We Play Baton Rouge. Here you see our very expensive We Play Bad News coin, and we will attempt now to flip the coin in the air. Call it. Okay. As you can see, Ken, it is heads. You have won the toss. You have opted to. I'll take the first question. Very good. Now, Richard, you're okay at this position right here? I'm okay. All right. Then it is time now, folks, for round one. You say it. Round one of We Play Baton Rouge. Let's go ahead and start the game. Okay. You'll see behind you, gentlemen, the game board offering a very bunch of categories when they spin. The streets are to your right, to your left, Richard. Let's go ahead, scramble the categories as we begin this edition of Engineers Night on We Play Baton Rouge. Buildings is up there. You're familiar with that, Ken, music and people. What looks good to you? Well, I'm familiar with buildings. I'll take people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> people it is. Here's the question. Under people, this was the first name called in the Senate roll call in the 1939 movie, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And also the name of a vice president who resigned from office in the 70s. What is his last name for Perkins? Agnew. That's exactly right. Spyro, the gyro, Agnew. Good old Spyro. Okay, it's back over to you now. You're going to go ahead and scramble those categories as we see, Richard. They'll continue to move around there. You're looking for your first street, Jefferson. And here we find buildings, music, and people. I believe I'll go with people. Okay, people it is. Here's the question under the people category. This religious leader of Iran became Time Magazine's Man of the Year in 1979. 
He was instrumental in keeping the hostages captive for two years. Who is he? Ayatollah Khomeini. That's exactly right. And there is now a contest going on in Iran right now to find out when the Ayatollah will get that towel removed from his head. Okay, you're on Jefferson Head for College. It's back over to Ken sitting on Perkins and looking for lead drive. Let's move those categories around again for you, Ken, as we find this time products, comics, and words. I'll go with, uh, yeah, words. Okay. <laughs> Did you say yeah or words? <laughs> You words, said, yeah. words would be fine. Words is the, okay. Words is the category. Here is your question. The word Achafalaya is an Indian word, Ken, that means wide river, long river, clear water, or lazy river. Can you say that one more time? Sure. The word Achafalaya is an Indian word that means wide river, long river, clear water, or lazy water. Wide river. I'm sorry, incorrect. Now, according to our rules, Richard, you can take this question or back to the game board for another category. I'll go back to the board. Okay, the answer, the word of Chafalaya means long river, long river. Back to the game board for you, Richard, and we will run them around again. We mix the categories for you, and this time we find popping up on the game board, universities, history, and music. Universities. Universities is, here is your question. Under universities, Mike, the tiger is LSU's mascot. What kind of a tiger is Mike the tiger, Richard? Mike is a Bengal. Mike is a Bengal tiger. That is exactly right. You are on college. It'll be back to you, Ken, when we come back. You're on Perkins, and you're looking for lead drive. But right now, folks, we're looking for a commercial break. We got two good cars right here for you. Whereas loose as a goose, we want you to Keep watching for us. Don't forget the country sausage. God bless you and your loved ones. Darling. <laughs> Okay, now your name is what? Stacy Jones. Now I notice you're a member of the All-Stars, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, I want you to turn around and look. Who do you think is going to win this game back here today? Him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on, get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. Nice talking to you. Let me give this back to Mikey. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs>
He did receive. Okay, when we left, it was your turn, Ken. You're on Perkins heading for Lee. You're sitting on college over there, Richardson. Let's run those categories again for you. It is your turn. Here we find, in heading for Lee Drive here on Engineers Night, products, comics, and words. Okay, I'll take products. Products it is. Here is the question. Name the first successful mass-produced automobile. Was it the Ford Model A, the Ford Model T, the Stetson Bearcat, or the Ford Model N? The Ford Model A. I'm sorry, incorrect <laughs> answer. You can go back over to you, Richard. Take the question, or it's back to the game board. Back to the board. Okay, it was the Ford Model N. The Ford Model N was the first successful mass-produced automobile at that particular time. Back to the game board, scrambling the categories. You're on college, heading for Acadia, and let's see what pops up this time. I believe I'll take my favorite, sports. Sports it is, and let's see what we have under the old sports category. 14-year-old Mary Weber became the first girl to do something in a professional golf tournament. What was Mary's duties in this tournament? Was she a uh, caddy? That's exactly right. You have a Cadian. It's back to Ken. Ken's on Perkins, heading for lead drive. Let's run the categories for you, Ken. Let's mix those babies up, and we find it this time will land on sports, television, and history. Let's go with TV. Television it is. Take a look at this one. Name the children's television show, Ken, one of the first that featured a freckled-faced puppet as the star with Buffalo Bob and Clarabelle. Can you name the show? That better be Howdy Doody. The Howdy Doody Show, and you're on leave. Back over to you, Richard. Acadian is where you're at. You're going down park right now, and we're going back to the game board. Let's see what it offers this time. Mixing them up, we find Louisiana people and sports. Well, back to sports again. Back to the old sports category. Here is the question. This brilliant Boston Celtic led the NBA in assists eight consecutive seasons and then made the all-star team each of his 13 years in the league. Name this all-star Celtic. John Havlicek. I'm sorry, incorrect. Back to you, Ken. Do you want the question, or would you rather go back to the game board? I'll go to the game board. Okay, the answer there is this brilliant Boston Celtic led the NBA and assist eight consecutive seasons, made the all-star team his 13 years in the league. That was Bob Cousy. You remember Bob Cousy? Back to the game board for you, Ken. Let's mix them up again. Here we find this time, coming from the sports category with Richard, back to you. Will you take products, comics, or words? Let's go with uh, products again. Products is the category, and here is your question. Under products, <sighs> muriate of berberine. Muriate of berberine. Let's go with comics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's back to the comics category. No, look, Ken, you know the rules. Let me give me a hard time. Okay, products is the category. Listen very carefully. Muriate of berberine combined the beginning and the ending of these words to create a solution for the eyes. After a horse's tail swished Otis Hall's eye, he developed this product. Can you name the product? Murine. That's exactly right. You have Stanford. The old muriate of berberine. Yes, indeed, and we're keeping an eye out for you. We're on Acadian for you over there, Richard. You're going for park. Let's go to that game board once again and mix them up. See what we find this time back there from the old muriate of berberine. It's to inventions, buildings, and the mix bag. Let's try buildings. Buildings it is. Here is the question. In the governor's mansion in Baton Rouge, brass doorknobs bear a certain crest. Name this crest. Is it the pelican? I'm sorry, incorrect. Ken, you can take the question. Head to Dalrymple, back to the game board. Let's go to the game board. The actual crest, the name of the crest is the Louisiana State Crest, the Louisiana State Crest. You have opted to go back to the game board. We have opted to take a commercial break. So when we come back, it's your turn. But until then, folks, stay right where you are. More of We Play Baton Rouge. But first, these messages.
To be a contestant on We Play Baton Rouge, send your name, address, telephone number, group, or occupation to Pat Shingleton, 4962 Florida Boulevard, Suite 401, Baton Rouge, 7806. And now, once again, here's Pat. Okay, thank you very much, Gary King. Now, Richard Lug. You are on Acadian, heading for Park. Ken Arndt, you're on Stanford, heading for Dalrymple. This, folks, is our engineer's night. When we left, it was your turn, Ken. You're going to go back to the game board now to pick a category. Let's run those categories for you and see what comes up right here. Here we find sports, television, and history. Go with TV again. TV it is. Here is the question. Under television, Richard Simmons, the exercise fanatic who list, I'm sorry, lost 112 pounds in two and a half months back in 1968. Now is the host of the Richard Simmons Show. Where is he from for Dalrymple? Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is an incorrect answer, uh, Ken. It's back over to you, Richard. Would you like this question or back to the game board? I'll go to the game board. Did you say Detroit? Okay, he's from New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> no, he is. Richard Simmons right here. On, uh, does the, uh, the exercise fanatic is from New Orleans. Okay, it's back to the game board for you, Richard. Let's see what happens as we continue tied at three and three, folks. Three streaks to go. Sports, television, history. Sports. Sports it is. Here is the question under sports. This annual award is presented to the top scorer in the NHL. It is called the Art Ross Trophy and was first given to Roy Conacher in 1949. Name the sport this trophy is presented. Would you repeat the question, please? Yes. This annual award is presented to the top scorer in the NHL. It is called the Art Ross Trophy and was first given to Roy Conacher in 1949. Name the sport the trophy is presented. It's hockey. That's exactly right. You have part. <laughs> it's back over to Ken, heading on Stanford, going for Dalrymple. Run the categories again. Let's see what we have this time as we play Baton Rouge continues. Sports, TV, and history. What do you think? TV's been good to me. What the heck? TV's <laughs> been good to me, too, sometimes. Here we have under television this question. Robin Strasser plays a woman who cannot trust yet wants to love very badly on TV's popular One Life to Live, shown weekdays at 1 p.m. here on TV2. Who does she play? Is it Mary, Dorian, Cricket, or Susan? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Now it's not any of those. It's Mary, Dorian, Cricket, or Susan. Susan. I'm sorry, incorrect. <laughs> and Richard, I know you want this question. No, Definitely you do not. <laughs> Would yeah, you we, like this or back to the game board? I'll go back to the game board. Engineers don't get to watch soap operas. You know you got a point there. I'd have to ask my wife that answer. <laughs> yeah, either was she here? Sure is. Okay, you're about to go back to the game board. The answer is Dorian. Dorian's the one that uh, Robin Strasser plays in One Life to Live. So we go back to the game board for you again. You're on park with just two streets to go. We find this time Louisiana people in sports. Well, back to my favorite category, sports again. Louisiana it is, especially no, of course right. it is. Well. Here's your question under sports. For E Street, name one of the original eight football teams in the American Football League founded in 1960? Houston Oilers. The Houston Oilers is a correct answer. You have East. Boston Patriots, Buffalo Bills, the Dallas Texans, the Denver Broncos, Houston Oilers, Los Angeles Chargers, New York Titans, and the Oakland Raiders. Back to you, Ken, on Stanford, heading for Dalrymple. Let's see what pops up this time for you in the game board. As we continue in this particular round of We Play Baton Rouge, Louisiana, people and sports. I'll go with people. People it is. Here is your question. Nelson Rockefeller and Patty Hearst were two celebrities who picture adorned the first issue of a revitalized magazine in February of 1979. Rockefeller appeared on the covers distributed in the East. Hearst was in the ones in the West. Can you name this magazine for Dalrymple? Life. Incorrect answer. Back over to you, Richard. Take the question back to the game board. We're going to the game board. 
Okay, Nelson Rockefeller and Patty Hearst were two celebrities who pictured her on this particular magazine. It was Look Magazine. They revitalized the magazine in 1979. So it's back to the game board for you. You're on East with one block to go. As we move the categories around, here's what we find. Universities, history, and music. Let's try universities. Universities it is. Here is the question. Under universities, the main campus is located on 592 acres in Baton Rouge. The Shreveport branch has 101 acres, with New Orleans branch on 18 acres. It is a publicly supported co-educational university founded in 1881. Name this university. Southern University? That is exactly right. You're a winner today. The, uh, the Stanford, you had it, you kind of stuck there on the Stanford. How do you feel about Stanford? I, <laughs> I got Whatever. stuck on Stanford. They're doing that dredging down there, you know, the other day. I kind of got stuck myself, but you played a good game. Thank you. You feel all right about the game you played? Sure. All right, now listen, there was one question here that yeah. Look Magazine one. That was kind of a tough one. It could have went either way, you know, because they revitalized. Yeah. I guess that was the, the, uh, the. So listen. As your prize today, we want you to take a look at that monitor, and we want to go back to our announcer, Gary King. Gary, what do we have for Ken today? Even if you're in shape or getting into shape, We Play Baton Rouge has an excellent gift for you. You're now a member of the club, the Baton Rouge Athletic and Racquet Club. Yes, a year's membership is yours at this million-dollar facility that features indoor-outdoor pool, diet center, daycare center, exercise room, racquetball, tennis, track, sauna, and whirlpool, all at the Baton Rouge Athletic and Racquet Club, airline at Greenville Springs Road, and our new location on Mammoth Drive, the Baton Rouge Athletic and Racquet Club. We're offering a lifestyle, not a workout. Total retail value of this gift, $570. Ken, you keep in shape, don't you? You go out there, play some racquetball, take a little sauna, you know, and then uh, play some tennis. You'll enjoy that, I'm sure. Thanks for being with us on We Thank Play you. Baton Rouge. Now, Richard. Yes. The one, okay, sports question was good. How about that one Robin Strasser with One Life to Live? You didn't know that was Dorian? You guys watch oh. soap operas all the time in the office. Oh, really? I nah. wish we could. Okay. Hey, listen, <laughs> we have for you another gift. Take a look at this monitor, and here's Gary King again to tell you what we have for you. Gary? As an engineer, you've got to remember all the formulas. And just so you won't forget, you've won the MG9 stereo cassette player from Sanyo. It includes automatic stop, cue, and review. Separate left-right volume control with lightweight stereo headphone. The stereo cassette player from Sanyo. And from New Generation. New Generation Highland Road to Tigertown and Florida Boulevard in Baton Rouge. New Generation, your superstore for the 80s. Now keep that cassette player handy to tape all of the sounds of your next prize package. Your second gift includes two nights at Baton Rouge's only four-star hotel, the Baton Rouge Hilton Hotel. The accommodations are ready as you and your guests enjoy first an excellent dinner at Captain French's. After dinner, step into 3Ds and enjoy the best live music around. Live music and a spectacular atmosphere offer a superb evening. During the day, Beat the heat with a splash in the pool. There's also tennis, sauna, and relaxation, all for you and your guests from Baton Rouge's only four-star hotel, the Baton Rouge Hilton Hotel. All right, how about that? Congratulations. That is our engineer say tonight on We Play Baton Rouge. We'll see you at 5.30 TV2 for We Play Baton Rouge. Until then, Pat Shingleton saying, no matter what game you're playing, you play it the best you can. Bye-bye for now. We Play Baton Rouge is a Pat Shingleton production made in association with WBRZ TV 2. Eyewitness News is up next. And join us next Saturday when... We Play